Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be working on the first gen 4Runner today. We're going to be getting the wires ran underneath the vehicle along the frame because we got to put in two catalytic converters, I believe. The first, one, first O2 sensor and the second O2 sensor. So I'm just going to route those wires so they're ran. So when it's time to do the exhaust, the shop knows where they got to put the two cats. Right down here underneath the vehicle, you can see the wires when they come down. I definitely want to keep them away from the exhaust. So I'm thinking just along the frame here, this is the first O2 sensor. Back here is going to be the second. So I'm just going to route it right up right on top of the frame here these other two wires are contacted off-road solution and they're not needed for my application going from a t100 to a first gen 4 runner i'm not going to need that so that's that's definitely helpful definitely hit them up they they're a great company i haven't had any issues with them they they know what they're doing instead of splicing all those wires in that i showed you well, turns out you just open the fuse panel up and unplug the wires and I'll show you. So these two plugs came out and that was all this wiring mess on both sides. All that wiring I was about to splice into when I could take my body harness and plug the original because I unplugged it from the old fuse box plugged it right back in no big deal the only thing I gotta splice in is these wires that come from the fuse box which I already took a look at my old fuse box and figured out which cables to cut to splice into these wires so this is gonna be this is gonna be a alternator hot I believe these two are gonna be again for the alternator but they connect to the the body harness on the other side this one same thing connect to the body harness on the other side of the truck these three these smaller ones connect to the left headlight. So, perfect. Now I just got to splice everything in, make it look really good, wire it all the way over here. Okay, I got all the wires hooked up. I matched them by color. So I'm assuming that I got them right. However, it is interesting. There's two solid whites. They go to the same exact plug. But on the other side of that plug is a white with red wire. And there is another white and red wire here, but there's two of them on the other side of the plug. And there's two solid whites here, so connected them together. Hopefully everything's good, and if it's not, the fuse should blow if I have something hooked up wrong. Otherwise, I'll have a nice little fire. But all the other ones are color-coordinated correctly. I know it doesn't look the cleanest, but this is what I got to work with. I'm going to wrap it with electrical tape and then probably do some wire loom all the way across to the front to this section here. And then one of those connectors, the one I was talking about is this one. Okay, this is the end result of that wiring splicing I know it probably doesn't look factory but 
it's it looks pretty good in my opinion and following it all the way down got to do something about here more wire loom and then it comes out there's one and there's that plug I was telling you guys about that connects to this plug right here and then you got your headlight your driver's side headlight right here so that's all connected in there as well so looks okay I'm gonna wrap it up here this obviously isn't gonna go here it's gonna go underneath front of the radiator but not too bad I know I I said like I said before I'm not the best at electric stuff uh, or wires but I make do with it the final product got it coming out of the fuse box running just below the headlight on the passenger side then it comes out goes over the radiator nice and clean tucked in I would have liked this to be a little more clean I cut the wire loom and thought that this is where possibly the, the driver's side headlight would come out turns out I was wrong I might change it to up here and drop it out there I don't know yet but got it all in there goes back through the engine compartment comes up just tucks in nicely ran along the body and then these wires were just a tad too long I might clean it up I might not we'll see but connected and then the alternator wire is way too long so I definitely need to clean that up a little bit but then that drops down to the alternator right there but thanks for watching guys I really appreciate all you for the support and everything this is only the start of it uh, it's starting to come together but there's still a lot more wiring to do and connections and vacuum hoses and I still gotta get an intake with the mass airflow sensor so stay tuned for that you don't want to miss this thing fire up for the first time it's gonna be really really awesome gonna be a, just a really good moment but thank you if you missed any videos you can go back and watch them all make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any further videos